good morning. Jonathan from Bike Britain and as you can see just going through Shoreham, Shoreham Harbour and Power Station on the way to meet Ranger Dave. Uh, for some time we've talked about doing a piece on Bright and Hove cycle lanes and uh, we're going to start that process today with uh, the Grand Avenue debacle which is occurring at the moment. So uh, just cycling into Hove to meet Dave and uh, I'm sure we'll pick it up there. Morning ladies. I suppose if I had to characterise my argument about cycle lanes, or these in particular, would be for shared access really that's the problem. Um, because if you're a pedestrian, you don't take any notice of the white line painted down there. You know, if I was a pedestrian, there's no way I would probably be aware enough to, you know, make sure I wasn't wandering in and out of a cycle lane. You know, as a cyclist, it's a complete nightmare because uh, you've got more variable threats than you have on the road. At least with cars, they expect to see you, or you've got a sporting chance of being seen. But here, people just aren't concentrating. So uh, the old shared route is, I think, fraught with difficulties. Anyway, uh, let's go and see Dave. He's coming into Hove now, and uh, see what we can find in Grand Avenue. Yeah, another wonderful bit of planning there. So you come onto the road in a cycle lane and immediately have to stop because you come to a junction. Same here, really. Although it's unlikely there'll be any traffic, you never know. The whole, uh, this whole street, this is meant to be a national cycleway. Uh, here we go. It's uh, route number two. And it's, you know, it's an utter joke. Here we go. Cyclist pretty easy cycle lane, but maybe killed by cars doing so. Yeah, very good. Well, we're here at Toe's Cycle Super Highway. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Uh, no cyclists on it, obviously, because it's uh, not being used, really. Morning. Uh, you've got uh, a uh, seafront car here. Can't go there because it's too many pedestrians. Oh, drivers, people about to use the highway. No, they're just not bothered. That's that. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. So, this is the, uh, the bit of road. Uh, the flight camp's going to rip up, having spent £1.5 billion pounds, uh, implementing it, so they're going to spend £1.1 million pounds taking it apart, which in my, uh, in my maths reckons that's £2.6 million doing absolutely nothing. So not a particularly good decision. You can see two people there go up the highway. So um, I'm going to do that shortly, uh, and just see uh, how good or bad the cycling superhighway is. So we're in Grand Avenue and uh, we're just going to check out some of the features of this particular cycle super highway. Uh, you can see for the start the width of the subway, it's actually pretty good. Comfortably big enough uh, for two bikes. Uh, both me and Swayze have started up here to get to uh, the beach and all the rest of it. So uh, pretty decent there. Um, we've got a uh, into the blind to get to the bus stop. So a decent bit of thinking there. And uh, as uh, my able cameraman Dave has already shown, bike parked up next to said bike post uh, so we can chain it all up there. I guess the only difficulty here is obviously all the cut across to all the flats. Many flats, many people, many cars. So, you know, there is going to be an, an amount of crossover and I suppose that's not ideal to a cyclist. Obviously we should always be aware of what's going on with the road and that, but again I guess it takes a significant uh, element of the uh, the highway away if you've always got to be looking over your shoulder making sure you're not run over by a car. Um, however, for the cars parked on the side of the road, no issue. There's a good, well, there's at least a couple of foot there, so if you open the door, you're not going to get knocked off, so no issue. So um, down this end of the way, I think it's, I think it's all right. It, it doesn't really make any sense to get rid of it. So there you go. So uh, we're still in Grand Avenue, just uh, bonded up from the seafront. Uh, and it occurred to me, this reminds me of how uh, the structure of the transportation is in Denmark. Because you've got pavement, properly segment, uh, segway, you've got specific cycle lanes, curb, and then the roadside. And this is exactly what the European model is. And actually, I think this is pretty good. 
pedestrians know where they should be, cyclists know where they should be, and cars just stick to the road, very straightforward. So, um, you yeah, know, I think this, this, this part of the highway comes up. Trouble-free cycling on Hove Cycling Super Highway. So I'm going to head to the seafront, uh, enjoy uh, a nice clear day, and um, see what comes of this uh, cycle debacle. See you later.